Hey, what's up? Back with another video. We're not playing baseball today. We're playing... Da, 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 da. Clash Royale! Dun, dun, dun. But, yeah, I thought I'd, you know, mix it up a little. It's funny that we just got 100 subs, but the video right after is going to be non-baseball. So, if I drop under 100 because everyone unsubs, we'll know the reason why. But just for a quick change of pace, we're going to jump right in here into this pre-recorded gameplay. I There are a couple big uh, Clash channels. I think um, Ash from CWA, I believe. Uh, I saw one of his videos, saw this deck, um, thought it was cool. We're rolling with the Sparky 8. I hear it's good. So we're going to jump in here to this first gameplay uh, my deck is, we're running, I think, Giant, Sparky, Witch, Lumberjack, Zap, uh, Wizard, uh, Mega Minion. So they start off with uh, some Piggies and with a big Rocket, so, you know, that's okay. The thing about this deck is you can punish very hard. So he misses the Rocket on my Witch, so I'm at full Elixir. I'm able to drop the Giant, drop the Sparky, back to back. He only has so much elixir, that's fine. I melt those dudes, the barbs. Um, also my skeleton, the uh, witch skeletons really helped out because they didn't target the witch. They targeted the skellies, but blew the tower up, bada bing, bada boom, drop a mega on their tower, lumberjack going ham, giants approaching, sparky zapping that, easy dub. So. If, especially if you're in lower levels and your opponent makes a mistake early on, misses like a fireball, misses a rocket, um, puts drops a card that they they weren't supposed to drop, done. Um, you can just punish really hard, fast push, and then they're gonna be, it's game over. Cause Sparky and single elixir, you can't do anything. So here we're jumping into the second game. Uh, looks like they're running a uh, E Barb's uh, Skelly Giant deck. Um, this is actually, I 1v1 my friend, so, the thing about Skeleton Giants is, you may or may not know, but they're super annoying to play against, because you kill them, drops with fat bombs, so you, pretty much all your troops die, and this guy's running clone, and a tornado, things aren't looking so well, but, but, we hold them off, um, yeah, those, those are gonna get killed off by the bomb, but that's okay. We're going to prepare for the next push. So he drops Executioner. So here I think the strategy is going to be, yeah, I'm going to cycle my Fireball. I'm going to try to take out the Xe in the back. And then also take out their um, Goblin Gang. So that my Sparky can get on target. So here I'm kind of stuck because I don't have anything big to tank with. If I just drop my Wizard right in front, he would have been melted. So... Their skeleton's gonna get on the tower, bomb's gonna get a hit, it's gonna take out my wizard. Things aren't looking so hot. But the thing about this deck is the Sparky, you really wanna try to save it till double elixir time. So you do wanna build around the Sparky. You want to try to hold them off as much as you can before you hit under one minute, before you get to double elixir. Because that's where you can start to shine. So here they start E Barb's early on so I had time to react drop the lumberjack in the front um, he's gonna hit on the tower and he's gonna clone so it's not looking so well they got four e barbs two lumberjacks just whacking my giant goes down instantly but we're 105 we're coming up on double elixir time so let's see what we can do with that so we're gonna go ahead and drop the lumberjack try to make a fast push I think yep try to fireball that real quick and zap so we're gonna get a couple hits on the tower but you know they're gonna take my witch out so 40 seconds left we gotta get a tower um we cycle we drop wizard in the back to try to start a push but they're gonna drop e barb so i, I gotta defend that push um i think the tornado was really wasted because it didn't really pull them away very well so we're going two lanes at once the double push uh i think i'm gonna try to yeah drop the sparky or lumby yep Drops the Lumbee to counter his Lumbee. So our Giant's on the tower. Um, gonna zap. Delayed zap a little. But we're gonna get that tower. So we gotta 
switch over to the other lane to defend. Um, the Executioner's on the tower, gets a couple hits off, but we're pushing in with the Witch. So full elixir, we're going to try to cycle through another push um, on the right side. So they start out, he drops things right on my tower. I need to defend Drop Giant to distract him. He clones him, uh, drop my Lumbee to try to get him, zap to get the clones off. And you can see on the right side, my wizard was pushing, but he dropped the Lumbee to counter push. He's going to get a hit off on my tower. We're 871. We're in overtime. It, it's looking it's looking it's not looking so hot he's pushing right away um, you really have to be careful of e barb spam or uh, skelly giant right on your tower but there ah uh, fireball mm, he messes up the clone which is good for me so we're at 269 so we gotta push in we gotta push in now um, or else he's gonna he's probably gonna end it so we cut off his Lumby. Mega Minion gets gets one hit on the tower, uh, which is probably going to go down. He has Executioner in the lane against my Wizard. So I want to drop my Giant right in front. If I was him, I would have dropped the E-Barbs in the middle right away. But he waits to defend. Um, I think that if you're this low, yeah, drops the E-Barb right in front of the Sparky. It's going to instant die. But I think at 269, he should have just dropped the E-Barbs, dropped the Giant Skelly right over my tower to put me on the defensive. So a lot of the times you can't be too defensive. You have to stay aggressive or else you're going to allow the opponent's time to build up a big push. As you saw there, I got my Giant down, my Wizard down, my Sparky down, and he just couldn't stop it at that point. Now let's jump into our third video. We're two wins in. Let's see if we can get a clean sweep. So it looks like they're running a Hog Rider deck. Um, you do want to try to, you know, take care of those as fast as possible. For In this deck, usually it'll be the Lumberjack or the Wizard or the Mega Minion to handle those. Um, he drops minions. I zap it to try to get another hit on the tower. But he drops, drops a unit there. So I got to defend with the Witch. Um, e barbs also you gotta be it's it's kind of similar to sparky where if you're not prepared for it and they drop e barbs and you don't have elixir to defend that tower is gone as you can see here i really didn't have much so tower's gone um also a lot of the time you'll see that you might lose a tower but once double elixir comes around there's certain decks where you kind of know in your head that you know that once you get the Sparky Giant Wizard push going, um, it's going to be really hard to stop. So you you really do just got to hang on tight um, until double Elixir. So, you know, it's looking it's looking grim here. We're going to try to save up Elixir. Could have dropped the Wizard to counter those minions, but going to save up to get a full bar. And we're probably going to try to start another push here also. Sometimes if you're, you know, you're 110, 115, um, you can start start the push and then hit it right in stride once it goes to double elixir. But they waste four on the fireball, so I'm up um, just a little. They do drop the inferno, but if you can get a zap and a sparky, that inferno is going to drop just like that. Um, so you also do have to really watch the timing on those. So here... We're not able to get get a sparky hit, but we get decent damage. But they try to attack that tower once again. I'm going to use Lumberjack against the Hog Rider to defend. And then going to try to start another push. So here you see that I'm on the offensive. So that tower on the right side that's been sitting at 150, um, he hasn't been able to, uh, to attack it. So he was, he's probably thinking that he's going to save up a fireball to go hit it. Um, but as as we'll see, you know, we may we may or may not win. We'll see. Uh, I kind of forgot what happened, but so we're gonna fireball that. We're gonna try to zap, try to kill that off, and yeah, the Valkyrie is gonna clean up all my units. So here, he tries to hog rider that lane once again. Um, so he's, I th I think he forgot about that tower honestly because. He could have hog rider the right lane, but he runs out of, he doesn't use the fireball on that low tower. He probably forgot about it since I was so focused on pushing that left lane. 
Um, he kind of tuddled into that and forgot about it, which let me finish off the game. So fourth game in, I think this is the last one for the day. We're running the same deck. It looks like our opponent's using a, what is it, a princess, skelly army, bats, probably some type of cycle, really quick cycle deck. Um, we're going to start out with the giant in the back, as usual. Um, these princesses, it's really hard to deal with. Sometimes, you know, you might let them get a couple hits off, or, you know, you can send the mega out there, or if your zap's high enough, zap them, log them, whatever you're running. But they got bats, so I should drop a wizard here. Yep, I do to clear the bats off, drop the mega. Um, they actually play the witch on the right side which allows me free hits onto the tower. The Skelly Army is not going to do anything because I have Wizard and Valkyrie both there. Um, my tower is able to hold off the Hog Rider for a little bit, and they drop another Princess. So here we zap away the Skellies um, to take minimal damage. We're probably going to try to take care of that Princess if we can. Um, so... One thing is, this is a bit of older gameplay. I have swapped out the Witch for Valkyrie in my current deck. Um, it's I find that it's better at you know pulling uh, Pekkas away, pulling Giant Skeletons away. Also, if they do try to spam your... Oh no, yeah, Valkyrie's still in there. But yeah, if they try to spam your Sparky with um, Skelly Army with barbs you can still have a defense if your wizard's not up or if your wizard is occupied um attacking something else so i that's kind of the variation i've had you can also you know play around with it a little make sure you have a good balance of offense and especially defense that you can use before you hit double elixir and before you start that push um but yeah let me know how this deck works works out for you and also, I do need to recruit for my clan. As you can see, it's very empty. So if you do play, feel free to look it up, join. Uh, love to have you. Uh, the more, the merrier. We can all help each other out with, you know, gameplay tips, donating cards, trades. And then once we get a full squad, we can jump into those clan wars. So here you can see that we've made decent progress on the right side. We've cycled through another giant. We got many things on the tower. It's not gonna. It's not gonna matter. That hog rider is not gonna matter. Um, Sparky, double Sparky, on their tower. They do kill off that tower, but we still got double Sparky and a wizard. We're gonna get two hits and a wizard. Done. Dropped. That's the danger in double elixir time when they don't defend properly. You can stack up giants, Sparkies, wizards. Just keep on stacking it up, and they can't defend you. So. Hopefully you enjoyed that Clash Royale gameplay. It's a little different. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, I'm trying to, you know, kind of diversify the content, mix it up a little bit. But once again, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the support. Love the feedback. Like and subscribe.